Hi, uh, my name is Henry Castro, and I'm from South America. So this is my first experience here in the LibreOffice conference. So I'm happy to see the community here. So um, we're going to talk about the Makefile, what I did that change for bundling JavaScript and the M4. Uh, Let's, let's go a little bit for history. Uh, we're going to check about the uh, JEC file, which was uh, the original uh, uh, JavaScript bundling. Uh, then uh, some rules for a make file. Just an example what, what I did. Uh, the M4 microprocessor, uh, low leaf left, and the HTML, how to generate the file. Okay, let's, let's start from the beginning. Uh, well, leaflet is the main uh, component of a library for JavaScript. Uh, we, uh, we started with the version 0 0.8, and this was the original package. And <clears throat> leaflet is a, a library uh, oriented or designed it for uh, maps, right? So we are starting to change in this, adapting the code to uh, handle the tiles of the documents for Collabora Online. At that time, uh, we had to use uh, uh, the, the bonding. It was, uh, the, the original bonding was the JAKFA, which is it's similar to like Makefile, but this, the Makefile for the JavaScript, they have a task, several tasks, and one of the tasks was just to bundle all the source file or the leaf left. Okay, uh, but you can see this in, in, in the original code. The JEC file have a, a built uh, uh, task, and that task, uh, yeah, we'll see the next one. It just uh, that starts uh, concatenate, like I see, concatenate all the source files and, and, and into one big file, and that's what's the bundling. And then after that process, they, they, they follow with the uglifying just to compress the file. Uh, this was the original, uh, we, uh, as you see, this, this was a normal process for bundling uh, with the original. Um, left uh, library. Then, uh, as you can see, it, that they have a, uh, an order list of, of files, the source. You can see here, these files have uh, some organizations. Uh, and then um, every file has an order, a specific order, because uh, JavaScript have a prototype definition and everything. If you change the order, maybe, you can break something in the in the, in the build, uh, bundling building the the library. So it was based in that file with have all the definition of the files, and this task was the previous uh, just only gra graph all that list and start uh, concatenating each one of them to. Um, have uh, just one single uh, bundle file. Okay. Um, that's what that's it. The the bundling process. Uh, we had no soft map at that time, so we were more focusing on, on adapting the code. So we have so many problems. Is some can uh, and the browser just automatically. Uh, 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 split in, in files when, when you want to debug. But uh, for example, for me to debug, it was uh, really painful. It, you can check the, the original left uh, package library. They have a debug folder. And the debug folder, um, we have some several examples. That's examples. Uh, in, they have a, a, a script tag that we can. Um, show 
how, how to debug. This was uh, the best environment debugging uh, at that time because it was easy for me uh, just to see an inspector in the browser, inspector all the source files where I can check uh, the breakpoints so easily and follow uh, what line of code I did and what is the file location. So, uh, an example, for example, if you run that, that file example, it, it will show you uh, every script tag with every um, um, source file, the, the location of the source file, and if you had to modify something, you, you, had to look, uh, you know exactly where, where was the code you, you can change, because at that time we were, uh, uh, we were more concentrating and it just adapting the patches. So you can see this is the same list of the list here. Okay. So um, basically, there's this, this, uh, this uh, debug example just lists all the files. So my problem was uh, just when I tried to do the changes, so I had to do my local changes and adapt this, this debug example file to change it to Collabor Online and start debugging. It, locally, I had to do those changes by myself and start debugging when there's some problem it happens. Because the boundary for me, it just, well, um, one big file, it was difficult to find. I don't remember what was the, the code. And they had to look my, by myself. I had to search the code, where was the file I modified. So it was really complicated to debug in that, that occasion. So uh, what I did, okay. Uh, to summarize, and then they, they have uh, three, uh, three components, four, four components uh, important to, to build that leaflet. There was uh, no package manager, that these are dependencies we already need. And the uh, linting utility, just like my coworker say that we need to, for checking the syntax of JavaScript. Uh, we have the Jake at that time. We need that utility just to bundle the left left. And after the process of bundling, yeah, we create a, a uglifying this, uh, to compress the file and deploy the result. So uh, what was my idea to, to not start to change in my, all my local changes uh, by my side. So the idea was just uh, grab the source files, and if I just create a, a build uh, with the debug symbols we, to, to build the, the server, the Collabora server, um, just I need to copy the files, the source files, and generate the list of tags for every source file what I, what I need, just, just like an example that I showed you before. Uh, if, if, we not, if we want to deploy uh, to our production, then we can just go for the release build and do the same process while they were doing the, the JEC file, just concatenate the files, and once they, they concatenate, uh, uglify, and just generate one single tag with one file bundle. Okay? Uh, that's what's the idea. How, how to do that? In the code, uh, unfortunately, I just look about and in other packages, uh, I couldn't find a way to do this. So the natural way was just to use the make file. Okay, uh, I just did the make file. Um, if you can check here, I just add two two rules here, and um, if it's uh, coming for uh, with the configuration with the debug symbols, just I need to copy the to copy the, the source file to the uh, destination folder. That was the simple step that I do if I want to debug. Uh, then, in, in the other case, of course, uh, if, if I release build, just we need to concatenate the file, exactly the same thing uh, with all the lists that dependencies, uh, with all the source files or the leaf left. left. So we have a, a one big file bundle. After that, of course, it, there's an ugly file process. 
Uh, two simple rules. Uh, no dependencies are remove the check file just to install that and use um, natural make file in our own uh, uh, with, with two simple rules. Okay? Then uh, how to generate, the, the only problem I have is only generate that single tag. If it's a release build, I just generate one single tag to the bundle file. Uh, if it's the debug, uh, with I compile with the debug symbol, I just have to generate uh, all the list of source files. So I use uh, uh, the natural command, which is uh, included in uh, every GNU Linux distribution with the M4, and it is come with the make files. So the M4, this is M4 is a macro processor, which is uh, you set the variables and expand this, this variables according to the conditional there. So I got two inputs here. I have to pass uh, the variables and, and the, um, something like a template, the Lila Flat template, so that the M4 processor uh, process that input file, inputs, uh, and the output will be the final Lila Flat HTML that is, is used for, uh, um, for my uh, Collaborate Online. Okay, the Collaborate Online, this was the last, the last step we need. So uh, I had to add a, a new rule, just the last, last rule. And that rule, as you can see, we can pass the definition of the variables. And if, if, that, if it's, it's a debug, we have all the list of all source files of the little flat. And we, we call the command m4, m4, just to process these two files. Uh, to, to him, these two inputs, sorry. Then uh, let's see about the left led HTML4. I just need a two simple, one simple conditional way of if this is a debug, we'll just generate all the script out for every source file in the left led. And in case this is a release build, just one single attack, which the bundle, uh, this is the result, okay? Uh, that's, that's what's as simple. As you can see, uh, there were added more. My coworker they did for, for if this is the case for mobile or for Android, uh, this was useful for them to create the proper script tags uh, to generate the, the final uh, little uh, HTML. Well, and the result was once we you make run in your command and you start uh, running in the bug, you just uh, like say my, my coworker, you, you open your browser and, and you will see all the files of the little left led. You can set the back point, you can check it's it's load very fast, and you you can have a better experience debugging in that way, which is was of. Of course, this was uh, for the normal browsers. In that time, we, we are not, uh, we're not thinking about the mobile, but it's, it's amazing how it's adapted to, to attach a remote and do the same result. Okay. Uh, well, uh, at the end, the result was, was the, the node package manager. Um, we need just that utility, but we had to download it from, from the packages. And the make file is, is not a dependencies we already, already have, so no problem. And the Uglify, uh, the two main packages is needed to bundle the little flat right now. Of course, there are the additional libraries we use uh, for, for toolbar, contest menu, that already not not uh, they are already included in the bundling process. So, um, in another way, this is a uh, um, bundling is 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 uh, it's not complicated like like you see. Yeah. Well, uh, that's what's the result I did, and hopefully. Uh, uh, the the Lilef packages, of course, the new version are changed. 
of course, the bounding time and the tools too. So yeah, at that time, we cannot uh, upgrade that uh, packages because um, we did so many changes for uh, Colabora Online that rebasing that uh, for the late, latest uh, source code, it will be complicated. But OK, uh, I think that that's it for me. Do you have any questions? Uh, that's what I did for, for just simplifying my debugging process in JavaScript.